Hey everybody! So I have a traveler's notebook spread for you today and we're going to be using my primarily the traveler's notebook kit from Click Kits this month but we're also going to jump in and use some stencils which is the product focus for this week over at Click Kits. So I'm just going to pull out a bunch of pieces from my traveler's notebook and from my meadow kit that I think I'm going to be able to use on this layout and we'll get started. So the traveler's notebook kit this month has a definite like travel vibe to it uh, but I'm going to use it to create this double page layout in my April traveler's notebook and my photo has nothing to do with traveling. I mean unless you consider running to Walmart traveling. <laughs> um, what I'm going to do here is I just want some of this gorgeous washi. I'm going to put it at the top and at the bottom. And you'll notice at the beginning that there is a little photo that goes along with this because I created a traveler's notebook sketch. And if you want to swing over to my Instagram or my Facebook, you can grab that sketch. And I'd love to see what you use it, how you use it. So go ahead and tag me in your posts. Uh, and yeah, that would be super fun. So I'm starting with this orange washi. And I'm really kind of sticking to these color schemes. So I want to do yellows and oranges with a little bit of pops of the copper and some black that occurs in this kit. And this is a three by three photo. So three by three photos uh, finish up or fit perfectly. Oh my word, can't talk. Uh, fit perfectly in these fun frames from Crate Paper. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just taking the frame that has April, which is the month this photo was taken. And this is just a picture of my two children playing in Walmart because they, they have to. It's like Walmart shenanigans. That's what I call them. Um, they don't misbehave. They just do stuff like this where my son, my oldest son, will be pushing the cart and my youngest son will be on his back. So that's what we're up to. That's what um, things my boys do in real life. <laughs> so in the main kit this month, we've got this really super duper cute splatter stencil and I really wanted to use it on this spread. So I taped it down with some old washi tape I don't care about and going in with my stencil brush and my oxide inks in spiced marmalade, uh, which is this pretty orangey yellow color. So against the really red orange that is in the washi tape, this is gonna look a little more yellow. Uh, even then maybe I would have liked initially, but I think it really works. I am very, I like how this Traveler's Notebook spread came out and I thought that it was important to do a couple projects using this Traveler's Notebook kit with photos that have really nothing to do with traveling um, because I know that a lot of people, well, I know I don't travel a huge amount, so <laughs> if you are someone who gets the kits and you don't travel, stick around. <laughs> I do have a Z photo coming up that I really wanted to use with this kit. So, Does anyone else pull photos to go with their kits when they get them? I do. I generally pull between 8 to 10 photos that I really want to scrapbook during the month using my Click Kits. And I do that with all my kits, even my um, How to Kill It Kit with Style Kit as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the second page of this uh, layout and then we'll move on to some embellishments and photos. So here's my photo and if you saw the sketch or you check out the sketch on Facebook or Instagram you see it's fairly simple. Um, not a ton of embellishment which is totally fine with me because I do like, I like both. I like a simple traveler's notebook spread. I also really like an overly embellished more is more traveler's notebook spread. Depends on my mood. So I went ahead and I went through my embellishment pack. And initially I had thought I was going to go with some of these tags, but mm, I don't really. I think they're really cute. I don't. I think they will work on another layout that I have coming up though. So I decided to kind of save them till then. But I am going to use that uh, paper that says trip right there. 
and I'm going to go ahead and use this camera from the die cut pack for sure. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the 6x6 paper bag and some of the other um, embellishments that I have here. And I'm going to take a look at these black embellishments and start to kind of stick things down and figure out what I want. I see I put all those tags back. I didn't even use one of them. I am going to go ahead and I'm going to place some items down that I end up not liking. <laughs> so we're going to skip this part right here. So I do decide that I want some more pattern. I want to pull in some of the pinker colors and some of the other colors and styles in this collection. So I am going to go ahead and I'm going to add these strips and I'm going to do this for the second side as well. The second side is going to mirror the first side fairly, fairly closely. I'm just going to trim these up and then move on to the next part. You can see where I put those little taggy things down there, but I don't like them. I pull them up. So I'm going to go ahead and add some of these little puffy stickers, just the little ones, a little geo tag because, you know, we were at a location. We were at Walmart. And that little fun one I really liked. And I added that little us underneath April, and I circled the date that this was taken. And I think this pretty much completes this first uh, side of the spread. The second side of the spread is going to be super easy, um, but first I'm going to go through the great thicker debate, trying to figure out what thickers I have. I wanted to add more pops of black, uh, but I also don't didn't have any black thickers that I had all the letters for. So, in the end, I decided to go with these gold letters that are in the Traveler's Notebook kit. Now, you get three sheets of letters in this kit, three sheets, right? But for some reason. I will know if not for some reason. Do you see that huge pile to the left of me? Yeah, the other two sheets of stickers are like at the very, very bottom of that somewhere. See, they're kind of there. And anyway, I end up like not digging through the pile far enough. And so I wanted to spell out shenanigans because I want the title of my page to be Walmart Trip Shenanigans. And I do end up Frankensteining one of the A's because the other two letter sheets were buried under that pile. So yeah. I'm on the flip side of that. I'm now currently have an extra A in my letter sheets. <laughs> and fabulously enough, I used a V. All good. It's all good. And I don't think you can tell real, real bad that I had to Frankenstein the A. Well, I didn't have to. That's the thing. I had two more sheets of these letter stickers. They were just under my pile. <sighs> anyway, adding the strips. And then it's time to get these into my uh, pocket page notebook, wherein I will discover that I measured these wrong. This is why I, might, I record my process, guys, so that when I make these giant, huge, stupid mistakes, I can show you how to fix them. <laughs> so it's too short. For, for whatever reason, when I measured it, I measured it wrong, and I ended up with this huge gap. And since I'm using a pocket page notebook, that gap is kind of like very much on show. And so what I'm going to do is I am totally just going to grab some more washi tape. And I am going to put washi tape across the entire top of this spread. Straight across. It's going to fix the gappy spot. And since this is a pocket notebook, when I do the other side of the page, I will just be super careful to make sure that I really do cut my paper long enough to fit in the pocket and it'll be all good. So there's my traveler's notebook spread. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday and I'll be back soon. Bye.